yeah, it's not only bent that away, it's bent that away as well. Slightly, but still I've got a bend in it where that's been knocked. Dear. Oh shit! I've got these two pieces. I'll chamfer for the edges as much as I. Well, as much as I really want to go. And it's a bit hard to see, but this this piece is bent from about here. This is actually bent down. It wasn't just broken. It's distorted. can't get 25 millimeters measuring across there no matter what I do so this has just been squashed in it's not just broken it's distorted so it's going to need to be machined either before we weld it or afterwards or maybe a bit of both I've put a big groove in this piece and I'm kind of hoping that when I weld this up if I can weld it I don't even know if it's weldable yet that might pull that in, straighten it out, because this this is bent in. Let's see the daylight in there. It doesn't fit at all. I don't know how I'm going to get on here because this is a really deep groove in this piece. I mean normally if there was a crack here you'd groove halfway on one side, halfway on the other side, but I want this to, to pull in on the top. So I've got to get right down there. And that's a crazy amount of stick out I think. I would never ever normally have that much stick out in the tungsten. It's going to be so easy to touch it down to the job. I'm not going to get enough gas going in there. I do not know. Well, crack in this piece all welded up. And once we got going, the thing heated up really, really quick, as you'd kind of expect, because it's only fairly small. I think it started off about 70 amps, and I was down below 30 by the time I was done. Um, yeah, and we've got kind of a melt through there, so that's going to have to be... I'm just going to file this this blob out and try and smooth this off. I think it might have pulled out a bit. To me, that looks a little bit of a better fit in there. Yeah, I think so. So I think that's in a bit better shape than it was before uh, I will yeah, probably just file all this off as well just to make it look a bit more presentable and then we're going to have to drill through this hole and spot face that once it's all back together um, oh crazy, it was like uh, 3D printing with aluminium getting this back up to shape um, Right smooth this off a bit and then of course we've got to get it so that it fits back onto this one and yeah I think it's going to need a bit of work on on both of these in this area here to get these to this to kind of fit so that that's level and still 
the right sort of radius in here. So a bit of cleaning up on this bit first, otherwise it ain't going to sit flat on the table. Right, that's just uh, filed off smooth. Still got to do a little bit of spot facing on this hole. It's got to be drilled through as well anyway. I'm just going to give a last minute rub across on this. Just on a bit of abrasive cloth on, on the table. Try and get this as flat as I can. dark patches are. It's not where I've welded it, so it must have been from the original casting. Let's see how this fits together now. Well, it really doesn't fit together still. I'm going to have to do something with this, where these two pieces fit together across this crack. Because that is just, no, it's still no good. That is just way wrong. Hmm. What do I need to do here? Oh, no, that's really, 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 really... A terrible fit. I guess what I need to do is just to... Take some metal off of either one of these, or bit a bit off of both, so that this comes together, and check the distance in there. I can probably put it back in the middle and bore that out again, but I don't want this hole to end up being too far in. Tch. I don't know, maybe it already is. No, I think what I need to do is actually measure the distance across there. And this distance across here. Come on, is that already less than 50 millimetres? It is if I squeeze it in. nowhere near in the right place here. This is just still stuck way out too far. You know, if I join that crack roughly like that, no, this bit here is going to be crooked then. Well, no, I need to get them to go closer together. This will be wrong, but I could probably just, it's probably better to bore that out rather than try and straighten this out and have the hole going in at a crooked angle. I'll need to get keep this hole going square to this, I think. So, yeah, I've got to fiddle with this join. Right, I think I've got this about as good a compromise as I can get.
get these pieces up against a roll and then just push that out of the way and we're getting 49.65 oops It's still big like that, but if we push that there, gets to be a bit more like it. I don't want to go too far though, I don't want it to be off certain. I'm just going to have to go with this. This is so hard to hold in position and measure it. So tricky. And of course when I'm measuring it I'm tending to pull the thing apart. So I'm getting a false reading. Oh poop. Let's just oh heck. I kinda of need to tack it together just to hold it. That's what I might have to do. Right, got a little tack there, and another one there, and that's not far out of alignment. I was kind of hoping this would be a little bit of a step here, which there is. And I think we'll be able to take that. If this is a bit high, we'll be able to take that off a bit. Let's just run a roll here. Yeah, that's okay. And that way, it's not too bad. If anything, that looks like this, this wants to pull over. So, I think what I'll do is I'll run a weld down here next. And we've got a step there, but we're just going to have to machine that out. I don't, I didn't do this sort, this has come out of the metal. Oh, and the other thing we want to check, of course, is that size across, across here. Forty-nine seventy-six, Yeah, I think we can live with that. Yeah, right. Right, welded all the way around. Right, so this has cooled down a bit. I'm not going to chuck it under a tap, I'm just going to let it cool. Although I don't know, no, I don't think it's actually hot enough for quenching to have any effect. And in any case, the welding rod is not heat treatable in any, any way. So, uh, we're just going to let this cool. And then all we've got to do, huh? 
you smooth off the weld so it needs to be smooth. Um, looks like this will need doing because it's kind of a trace of a gasket going around that. Uh, this has got to be flattened off that bit maybe and obviously in there. This side, not so sure that that's important. Oh and then of course the hole as well, drilled through and spot faced. God, what a palaver. That's it. Well, not the smoothest bit of machining, but that's to be expected when you've just welded something. But our 50mm test piece fits in there pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess I will just file that little bit smooth. Don't know if it's important, but we'll do that. And oh yeah, the hole's got to be done. The counterbore still. Right. Just use the boring head as a fly cutter, and taken a little bit off of this. You can see that wasn't flat. Um, slight, slight low spot there. But that should be okay now. That should fit. Right, last little thing. Just spot face this area here. And, you know what, with a bit more work, smoothing this off, you'd be hard pushed to tell that it'd even be welded there. And that is now okay, I think. That's good. That sits flat that way. Sits flat that way. Um, that is a bit thinner than that end. Don't know if that's going to matter. Don't know how strong it is. Don't know how strong it needs to be. But it's all back together. I'm quite pleased with that. And that fits on now, pretty good. So, I think that was a decent repair in the end. Save somebody spending over a grand on a new cylinder head. Because you can't get these bits separately apparently. Fifty point one three. Oh my 
think that's okay. Actually, I think the points of these calipers are a bit, uh, a bit worn, so it's probably, yeah, so it's measuring about the same. Not bad. And if we if we measure this gap here. Three-handed job to do this. Um, hang on. Right, measure that. Yeah, twenty-five oh five. That's pretty good because that that's the same. 